Now let's talk about the transformation uh, equations. Uh, if you look at this figure here, I have uh, several frames defined. So we have frame A and frame B and frame C and frame D and frame U. Okay, And each one of these frames is defined relative to another frame. So I have here frame uh, A relative to U, D relative to A, D relative to C, C relative to B, B relative to U. Okay? So I'm going to extract some relationships here. I'm going to define uh, the transformation matrix of D relative to U. Okay, directly. D relative to U. Okay? So since the transformation matrix of D relative to U can be defined by multiplying uh, T of A relative to U, this line right here, multiplied by t d relative to a this line right here okay so if we go this route or we can also go this route so it can also be equal to um, t of b relative to u right here multiplied by t c relative to b right here and that's multiplied by t d relative to c right here okay both of these are equal so whether you go from here to here or from here to here using this route okay so if we extract these two equations this is defining tdu using the upper route and this is tdu using the lower route that means that this multiplication equals to this multiplication right here okay so these two tau times tda right here equal to TBU times TCB times TDC right here. Okay, so these equalities uh, apply and they are correct uh, when you uh, make the logic of them using what, what's defined here. Now, if I want to find TC relative to B, this one right here, TC relative to B, okay, I can either go this route from here to here to here to here to here okay and that will find me the route from b to c since i don't know the route from b to c that means this from here to here equals to from here to here using the upper route okay now the only problem is if i'm going from here to here the arrowhead is taking me from b to c but if I want to go from here to here, not all the arrowheads are going to the direction I want to go. So this B to C does not exist. I have, uh, I'm sorry, from B to U does not exist. I have U to B, but I don't have B to U. So that means I need to invert this transformation matrix first. Okay. And then here it's going along my direction. So I don't need to invert anything here. And then this one is going, you know, along my direction and no need to invert anything. And then this one here, the last matrix is not going along my direction. It's actually the opposite. So I need to invert TDC to get TCD. Okay. And that would invert the direction of this arrow. Okay. So TC relative to B, that's right here, equals to TB relative to u inverse b relative to u inverse times t a relative to u we don't need to invert that so that's t a a relative to u times t d relative to a again no need for inversion t d relative to a times t d relative to c inverse okay because we need to invert that so that's t d relative to c inverse now let's take an example on uh, uh, this inversion. Find TC relative to A if the following transformation matrices are defined as, and then we're given here T A relative to B, and we're also given T C relative to B. Okay, and we need to find T C relative to A. Now to start the solution, let me define T C relative to A. TC relative to A equals to TB relative to A times TC relative to B. Let's think about this for a minute. If you think about it as a fraction, so you have a fraction line here, 
then B would cancel with B and what's left is A at the top and C at the bottom and that's what we have here A at the top and C at the bottom this is only a way to think about it okay now do we have T B relative to A we don't right but we have the opposite we have T A relative to B so we can get the inverse of this which represents T B relative to A so I'm going to use T A relative to B inverse which is T B relative to A okay now do T C relative to B exist yes it does exist right here it doesn't need to be changed or inverted okay so that means I can use T A relative to B inverse times T C relative to B okay now to invert T A relative to B I use the rotation portion transpose so that's the rotation portion I'm going to transpose it first and then for this 3 by 1 I'm going to use the transpose of the rotation portion uh, multiplied by negative 1 and then multiplied by P A origin relative to B which is this right here okay if I do this and then of course the last row here is 0 0 0 and 1 if I do this I'll come up with this matrix as you can see this rotation portion is the inversion uh, or the transpose which is the same thing of this rotation portion okay and this 4 3 and 0 is basically the uh, negative of the transpose of the rotation times P A origin and B okay so this gives me this uh, uh, translation okay so now that I have the inverse I can go ahead and line these uh, matrices up so TC relative to A equals to TA relative to B inverse which is right here multiplied by TC relative to B which is right here if I put them together I do multiplication and then I'll get up uh, and find uh, the solution here of uh, transformation matrix of C relative to frame A now let's take an in-class exercise uh, we have here uh, write the transformation equations for T C relative to D and T A relative to C uh, use the defined transformations shown uh, in the figure below okay so we have here frame A B C D and E okay we have this transformation defined and this defined this defined and this defined and this defined okay so what you need to find you need to find transformation of uh, C relative to D this one right here so you're gonna have to define it using this route and then you're gonna have to find uh, transformation of A relative to C so going from C to A from here to here so you're gonna have to define it either using this route or this upper route okay uh, so I want you to find this on your own uh, I'm gonna pause for a few seconds please pause this video and once you're done uh, solving this exercise you can resume the video to see the answer okay assuming that you are done with solving this exercise I'm gonna go ahead and start showing you uh, the solution so TC relative to D C relative to D it will have to equal to T E relative to D or from D to E which is already defined here we don't need to change directions so that's T E relative to D times T of A relative to E so we don't have that well, that means we need to change direction here but I'm gonna put it as T of A relative to E opposite of this so that's T A relative to E I know I need to invert it so I can put it in terms of what's defined here and then I have to multiply it by T B relative to A again this is going in my direction so I don't need to invert this and then multiply it by T C relative to B again this is going in my direction so I don't need to invert this one okay now if I uh, look at the ones I need to invert or what I need to invert that I don't have is T A relative to E okay so I'm going to list T E relative to D the way it is and then T E relative to A inverse which is E relative to A is what I have so I will invert it so I can uh, find it as T A relative to E 
and then t b relative to a, no need for inversion, that's b relative to a, and then take t c relative to b, again no need for inversion. Okay, so this is the solution for the first portion. And then if I need to find t a relative to c, again I can find it in this short way, uh, t a relative to c, so I need to find uh, the line that goes from C to A, okay, which means that I need to look at T from C to B, which is TB relative to C, okay, that's TB relative to C. Uh, of course, I don't have that, so I need to invert TC relative to B, and then multiply this by TA relative to B, okay. Again, I don't have TA relative to B, so I'm going to have to invert this TB relative to A and place it here. Okay? So TA relative to C equals to TC relative to B inverse, which is what I have here. I will just invert it. And then times TB relative to A inverse, which is what I have here. And I'll just have to invert it. Uh, another way to find this is if I go the longer route. So I have to go from here to here to here to here. Okay? So that means t d relative to c, that's d relative to c, times t e relative to d, that's t e relative to d, times t a relative to e, which is right here, t a relative to e. Again, the ones that are opposite direction, I need to invert. So t a relative to c equals to t c relative to d inverse, that's c relative to d, so I need to invert it because the arrowhead is opposite to my direction where I'm going, and then times T E relative to D, that's the same direction, the arrowhead is right here, and then times T E relative to A inverse, so that's going from here to here, which is opposite to the direction of where this arrowhead is, okay? So that means I can define uh, my transformation matrix to go from any frame to any frame if I know uh, the rest of the chain between these frames. Now I want to show you some MATLAB simulation of transformation uh, of frames. So I made a small simple program here that shows you simulation uh, of a transformation of coordinate frames three times. So the first transformation includes XYZ translation and rotation only about X. Then the second transformation is uh, translation in x, y, z, and rotation only about y. And then the third, the third transformation is translation in x, y, z, and rotation only about z. Okay? So this is the program that I've made. And as you can see here, I need first to define uh, these three transformation matrices, uh, which I already have defined here in my comments. So I'm just going to copy this. Uh, transformation and paste it here so it can be defined. Uh, then I made this whole thing as a function so I'm gonna take this function copy this function here and uh, since t is the argument of the function I already defined here I'm just gonna paste it here and execute it since the t is already defined. So I want you to look here and observe the translations and rotations. So the first one is rotation about x and translation in XYZ. And then the second transformation is rotation about Y and translation in XYZ. As you can see, at Y axis is constant. And then the third uh, transformation is rotation about Z and uh, translation in XY and Z. Okay? So this is only to illustrate how this works and uh, the concept of transformation matrices uh, that can give you uh, this kind of result of moving uh, coordinate frames. So you can see here the program if you are interested in seeing how it looks. This is how the program looks. Uh, just scroll down very quickly. Okay.